Thank you for joining us tonight at 8. I'm Pam Moore. And I'm Catherine Heenan in for Ken Wayne. A family which lost its home after their neighbor's house exploded in February is now suing the owners of that property. The lawsuit claims the owners were negligent and should have known that their tenant was running a drug lab out of the garage. As Cronfors Teresa Stasio reports, the couple, their young daughters, say they have suffered a lot of trauma from losing everything that day. This is what is left of David Garth and Nang Pavavangse's home in San Francisco's Outer Sunset after a fiery explosion in February destroyed everything in its path. Teresa, David and Nang lost everything in a moment that they could never could have imagined, uh, and they're lucky to be alive. Attorney David Hollenberg is representing the husband and wife and their seven-year-old daughter. The three lived in the yellow house right next to the one that caught fire and exploded. Their lawsuit claims that the couple sustained injury to their bodies, causing them great mental, physical, and nervous pain and suffering. They are asking for unspecified damages. It's rough. Um, they don't sleep well. The the image of seeing the home that they lived in uh, burned to a crisp is still very much present in their mind. In addition, Garth ran a fine art business out of his home and lost all of the items in the fire. Yes. He, he's been tremendously impacted. This uh, he, he, he ran a business uh, selling antique Judaica. These are pieces that have n not just monetary value, but, but deep religious and sentimental value. According to investigators, Darren Price was cooking hash oil in his garage using large butane tanks that interacted with a clothes dryer and sparked the fire. Price's wife, Rita, died. A caretaker was badly injured. Price is now facing multiple charges. Hollenberg says that their initial investigation shows Price rented the home on 22nd Avenue in 2021, giving the owners, Peter and Diane DiMartini, cash for six months' rent. Unusual. Uh, usually you, you don't pay um, your rent in cash, and you certainly don't pay uh, such a large sum, you know, almost, almost, I believe of six months uh, of rent uh, when you move in. It's highly, highly irregular and should have tipped the defendants off that something wasn't quite right. Cron 4 reached out to the owners of the property, but got no response. Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.